Taha Arbas is a financial columnist and analyst. Uh, let's speak to him now about the uh, potential implications of a boycott of French products. Hi, Taha. Um, Hi, Andrea. Tell me first, I mean, is this, is this really an effective tool, you know, or is it more uh, of a symbolic effort at this point? I think it can be an effective tool. It depends on how widespread the participation in the boycott will be and how, how long it will uh, follow. I mean, the follow through, the execution here is important of the boycott, if you will. So it's possible that it could be uh, impactful. We just, you know, for, for those that are going to boycott French products, it has to be, you know, both long term and uh, vast across, you know, a large part of uh, the world for it to be uh, effective. I mean, what businesses exactly what would it affect? How would we see it manifest uh, if it really is pushed through and there is public enthusiasm uh, in this boycott going forward? Right. I, I mean, I think you need to differentiate, obviously, those companies that are close to the government. I mean, uh, the government, Macron, it's, uh, specifically, um, uh, is this a, a boycott of all French products or those only that are tied to these far right groups? Um, as you know, and as the other uh, speakers have said, or, uh, other guests have said, you know, Macron is is in a very uh, precarious position. He's moving to, he's trying to out uh, uh, extremists, uh, the extremists in France. So um, it depends on which companies are aligned with him. Uh, and those should be, frankly, I think, uh, targeted first um, that are responsible for echoing these anti-Islamic, uh, uh, you know, sentiments. So if, if those can be narrowed down, then I think it might be very effective. But if it's just very broad, it might be difficult to, um, to execute. Okay. Uh, do you think it could be similar at all to boycotts? You know, we saw against Denmark, for example, when the cartoons were first published. Uh, and, you know, what kind of impact did that have in, in the longer term? Uh, I don't recall that being as, as much of a long-term uh, boycott, frankly. I mean, this is... Um, the, the point here, it's, it's, you know, obviously the most famous boycott is the Montgomery bus boycott, Montgomery, Alabama. Um, it, it's to, to point out that there is something here, that there is uh, extremism, that there is racism here. It's unfortunate that just a very cheap political trick by Macron here to win some points. So um, I think what the, the aim of the, the world leaders that are calling for this boycott, that are participating in, part, participating in it rather, is if you want to lump in all Muslims, you know, uh, you know, 1.6 billion Muslims with one teenager, uh, deranged teenager who's who's obviously committed this horrible crime. Then, then you will, you know, you'll have to uh, deal with uh, the pocketbooks, and these 1.6 billion Muslims will answer uh, with their pocketbooks. And if that's, you know, if that's the road you want to go down, then great. Um, so it's unfortunate that it's come to this, but uh, I, the, you know, these people don't understand anything else but um, politicians. I'm speaking about but money. So uh, this is the choice that needs to be made. Okay. Taha Arvas, great to speak to you as always. Thank you for that. Thank you, Andrea.